Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be designing a Lego brick in Tinkercad and then printing that brick on my Endo 3D printer. The first thing you have to do is open up Tinkercad and select Create New Design. This will get you to where you can start tinkering. Now that you're here, you're going to want to rename the title to something like Lego Brick. Now we can start designing the Lego Brick. Select box from basic shapes and drag it onto the work plane. Now the dimensions of this box are going to be 31.8 and 15.8. Now the height of this Lego Brick is going to be 9.8. So, change, so click on this top box and change the 20 to 9.8. Now with that out of the way, we can start designing the bumps on the top. Now that you've got the main brick of the Lego, you need to add the bumps on the top. To do this, select cylinder from basic shapes, drag a cylinder onto the brick, and just place it in the corner here. Now the dimensions of this are going to be 4.84 on both sides, so just, and the height is 1.8, so click on this top square and change it to 1.8. Now you want to have the sides of this as much as possible. So change it from whatever it is all the way up to 64. To make this have a higher elevation, click on this top handle, the cone here, and drag it up to the top. Once it's close to the top of here, change this to 9.6. That's the top of the Lego brick. Alright. Now you need to align it so it's in the right place on the surface of the brick. To do this, select the ruler tool, select the corner of the brick, click on the cylinder, and change these numbers to 3.9. And 3.9. Okay. Now click off of the ruler tool. Click it twice to get rid of the ruler tool. Click on the cylinder. Hit duplicate in the top left corner. And then hold down shift and click and drag on this. Holding down shift makes it so it only moves along one axis. Then change the length between these two to 8. Then Without clicking off of the duplicate tool, click the duplicate again and again. If you did this right, you should see all four pegs appear here. If you didn't do it right, that's okay. Just make two more pegs with eight in between them. Now you need to make the final row of pegs. To do this, click on one of the pegs, hit duplicate, click on the peg, Hold down shift and move it like the first row. Then change this number to negative 8. That's the right position for the second row of pegs. Then repeat that for the remaining three pegs. Alright, you're almost done with the top of the brick. But before you can get to hollowing out the bottom and adding the cylinders, you need to group these pegs uh, with the brick. To do this, the easiest way um, is to click and drag. So you make a box that um, holds all of the pegs in the block. This will get it so it has everything selected. Once you've selected everything here, click up on the group. Uh, tool in the top right corner. Okay, 
once it's grouped, it should be all the same color with the outlines in bold. Now, we have to hollow out the inside of the brick. So select a hole from basic shapes. A uh, hole box is this striped box here. And just place a box here. The easiest place to edit the dimensions of the hole box is over here. So just click on the number and change the length to 28.9. Change the width to 12.9 and change the height to 8.6. Once you've done that, click on here and click on that arrow, this arrow thing. Once you've got that, click on the zero and change it to 90. If the whole box aligns with the brick, you don't have to do this, but since it's perpendicular to it, change that to 90. There we go. Okay, we're almost done with the hole. What we want to do now is make another click and drag box that selects everything, and then hit the align tool in the top left, in top, sorry, top right corner. Once you see this, you have to um, align it, you have to center align it, and uh, this button, click that button. Then the bottom of it should look like this. Okay, the last step regarding the hole in the bottom is to make um, another box like this that includes everything and then just um, cl uh, hit the group tool again. All this does is it makes it so you can clearly see that the inside has been taken out and it's hollow on the inside. Okay, now we can move on to the final part of the brick. The cylinders on the inside that connect to other bricks. So select cylinder from basic shapes, just drag a cylinder onto the work plane, and change these two numbers to 6.5 each. There we go. And click on the top square to change the height. Change the height to 8.6. Alright. Now, uh, this has to be hollow on the end. Well, first, change the sides of this to 64. And then, uh, this has to be hollow on the inside. So, get a whole cylinder and drag it onto the work plane. Uh, the dimensions of the whole cylinder should be 4.8 on both sides. Okay. And the height of it should be 8.6. The same, so same as the cylinder. Alright. Uh, to make it so there's a hole in the cylinder, Select these two things, hit the align tool like before, and align them. To make it so you can see through the cylinder, just hit the group tool. Okay. Now the first of the oh, okay. Now the first of the cylinders is done. Okay, we're almost done. Now what we need to do is um, we need to make two more of these cylinders. So to do that, just click on the cylinder and hit the uh, duplicate tool just like with the pegs. So click the duplicate tool, hold down shift, and move it. Remember holding down shift 
makes it so it only moves along one axis. So we want to have three of these cylinders that go on the bottom of the brick. So um, click and drag this while holding down shift. It might be kind of hard because there's a lot of handles to choose from, but just click and drag it and change the distance between them to 8. Then, remember, without clicking off of that, hit the duplicate tool again, and it's supposed to make a third one. However, it didn't, so we just kind of have to do it manually again. And change it to 8. Okay, the final thing you have to do is you have to group all three of these cylinders. So select all of them with a box, remember, and then hit the group tool. Okay, now just move this brick so it's parallel with the circles. If I had um, done this originally, I wouldn't have to do it, but there you go. So then, uh, the final step is to uh, join this brick with the cylinders, right? So, uh, make a box around them. and uh, hit the Align tool, and then just align them, like so. Then, um, make a final box, and group the whole book together. And there you go. Completed LEGO brick. Okay, to get it ready to print, you have to move it onto Prusa Slicer. To do that, um, hit the import button, up, or hit the export button, I'm sorry, up here, and you should see this uh, box. Click on STL, and it should say Propane Model, and hit OK. OK, here you can see the Lego brick in Prusa Slicer. In addition to the brick, I added um, an SGB into the side of the brick for stuff gets built, obviously. Okay. Um, with that, I think we're ready to slice it. You can see here it's going to tw take 20 minutes to print and it will cost less than a cent. Okay. With that, we're ready to print it. And with that, I think I'm ready to download this file onto my flash drive. And there you have it. Now you know how to design and print Legos in Tinkercad. If you enjoyed this video and would like more tutorials like this, please consider liking and subscribing.